CompTIA A Plus Core 1 Complete Training Course. Exam Objective 2.6 Compare and Contrast Common Network Configuration Concepts. THDP Dynamic Host Configuration Protocol, or DHDP, is a networking service that automates the configuration of devices on an IP network. Essentially, DHDP allows network devices, like computers and printers, to automatically obtain IP addresses and other necessary network configurations. This makes it much easier to manage large networks, where assigning IP addresses manually would be impractical. To simplify things, imagine every device connected to a network is like a house in a vast neighborhood. Just like every house needs a unique address to receive mail, Every device needs a unique identifier, known as an IP address, to send and receive data on a network. Here's where DHDP steps in. It acts like the neighborhood's post office, dynamically assigning IP addresses to devices as they join the network, ensuring each one has a unique address and can communicate efficiently. Now, let's talk about how DHCP does its job. The secret to DHCP is Dora. No, not that Dora. Okay, much better. This Dora stands for Discover, Offer, Request, and Acknowledge, and is a four-step process. Here is a quick breakdown. The process begins with discovery. Imagine a new device, like a laptop or a smartphone, connecting to a network for the first time. This device doesn't yet have an IP address, so it broadcasts a discovery message across the network. This message is a digital shout-out saying, I knew here, is there a DHCP server that can assign me an IP address? Upon hearing this call, a DHCP server on the network springs into action, entering the offer phase. The server selects an available IP address from its pool of addresses and sends an offer message back to the device. This message essentially says, Hello, device. I am the DHCP server, and I propose this specific IP address for you to use. The device, upon receiving this offer, moves the process to the request phase. It evaluates the proposed IP address, and finding it suitable, sends a request message back to the DHCP server. This message is the device's way of saying, I accept your offer of this IP address. May I use it? The final step in this dance is acknowledgement. The DHCP server receives the device's request and seals the deal by sending an acknowledgement message back. This message confirms the IP address assignment, effectively saying, the IP address is yours to use. Welcome to the network. With this exchange, the device is now a fully functional member of the network able to communicate with other devices using its newly assigned IP address. If only all communications in real life were this cordial. With that said, it is also important to note that DHCP does more than just handle IP addresses. It also configures other essential settings for network communications, such as the subnet mask, which determines the network size, the default gateway for connecting to other networks, and information on how to find the network's preferred DNS server or servers in order to resolve domain names into IP addresses. Another key concept in DHCP is the lease, which is the period of time for which an IP address is assigned to a device. Leases are temporary, allowing for efficient reuse of IP addresses in environments where devices frequently connect to and disconnect from the network. Then there is the DHCP scope. The scope is the predefined range of IP addresses that the DHCP server is authorized to assign to devices. It's essentially the pool of addresses that the server can draw from when assigning addresses to network devices. Lastly, we have DHCP reservations. This is a handy feature that allows network administrators to reserve specific IP addresses for certain devices, ensuring they always receive the same IP address each time they connect to the network. 
This is particularly useful for devices like printers or servers that need a consistent IP address for network users to access them easily. So did you get all of that? I hope so, because understanding DHCP and its components is necessary for anyone stepping into the IT field. It's a fundamental part of network management, ensuring devices can connect and communicate seamlessly in a dynamic network environment. Thank you for watching. Subscribe for more great content.